Mm. As I'm enjoying a nice warm cup of tea, which doesn't happen often. Sam's actually taking the kids out, so the house is nice and quiet. I thought I used this opportunity to do this video because Ancestry UK reached out to me and I wanted to share this one with you because I was pleasantly surprised by the findings. So if you're not familiar with Ancestry.co.uk, it is the UK's largest family history website where you can access over 2 billion UK family history records and you can explore your ancestors to discover who you are and how you got here. So grab yourself a cup of tea or your beverage of choice as this is going to be more specific down chatty video but definitely keep your eyes out as there's lots of exciting clips as well because I've actually been using this service for a while now. So I would describe myself as a black UK based Nigerian, gosh that sounds like a bit of a mouthful, essentially we are an African family living in the diaspora. You'll probably see from the many videos on this channel if you follow along on Instagram that we are pretty intentional about embracing our Nigerian culture and also learning about our black history and this goes well beyond you know it's Nigerian National Days and Black History Month not just for us but for our kids too especially. So my husband and I were born in Nigeria as our parents and pretty Previous generations but raising children who are basically first generation born in the UK we have to be more intentional about making them aware of where they're from for us as well having that knowledge gives us a sense of identity too so one of the best ways to start using ancestry is by building your family tree and don't worry just do as much as you can in the tree ideally try and build it all the way back to like the great grandparents so it's very easy to add people onto the tree Binga, last name is Awe, and even if you don't know the full date of birth, in this case this would be a great great grandparents, we're not sure of the full date of birth, but we're pretty sure it's in like the 1890s, yes. Lagos, Nigeria, and then that can form part of your tree. So I, was, I sat down with my parents and we went through the tree because they are obviously way more knowledgeable than me of all our previous generations. I'm joined by my amazing parents who are here. It's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mum. And what Ancestry recommends is that you actually start by going through your family tree. And the best way for me to do that is actually to speak to my parents because they know a lot more about my family history. So that's what we're going to work on now. My dad has helped me out with his side and my mom is working on her side as well she was 1927 right so we can go here what's nice as well with the family tree is that you can actually upload images as well this is my grandmother who i was named after bibiana as i build the tree i can add more images and even form a visual image of what my family tree looked like as well as supporting documents and it's nice as well because I could just see some resemblance of a grandparent, of a great grandparent and my children and me now. And actually doing that activity was a real moment of self-discovery as well. As we're putting all these pieces together, I'm asking my parents questions or I'm delving into their history as well, wondering, oh, who are these people? What was their occupation? One person I love discovering more about was actually my grandfather, who was actually a photographer as well. And my mom always tells me she thinks that's where I got my love of photography and creativity from him. And I was able to discover that even just from the activity of putting this tree together. So a natural starting point for those who have many generations born in the UK would be the 1939 register as this provides a great snapshot of society three weeks after World War II. This register can provide useful information about any of your ancestors. In my family's case where most of our family is born outside the UK and in Nigeria, Ancestry have this amazing register which provides useful information for ancestors who arrived in the UK from outside Europe and this register actually provides us some useful information about our ancestors. And then as you go further what happens is little leaves can appear and these are so exciting because these leaves are hints from Ancestry to tell you that they have been able to use the information you've put in. So this is really exciting, I just got this notification that's told me that someone in my family tree they're able to provide a hint for me based on the people in their database. So I can just go here to review the hint and it tells me what a hint is as well. And a hint is a historical document that may contain information about your relative 
and you can review them and that's why it's really important just to add as much information as you can to the tree because the more you add the more hints you get it can be anything from just even putting in a first name or just even putting a date of birth because i understand that many of us don't know that much about our ancestors especially if we don't have maybe a living parent or grandparent or someone in the generation who can hint and give us some of those clues but if you can just bring as much as you know ancestry can fill in those gaps and help you and this definitely filled in the gaps in my knowledge and my parents knowledge because we were able to find really exciting discovery that my great grandmother and the kids great great grandmother was actually called Taiwo and if you're familiar with like Nigerian culture Taiwo is actually the name of my daughter as well but that name is significant because it's a Nigerian name that culturally means you are a twin so we just found out that we have twins in the family so my mom had twins my brothers are twins but we always kind of just thought that's where it started because we didn't know further back enough as far as my mom's knowledge was, she didn't know anyone else in her family who had twins. But through this, we were able to discover this lady. And there's a record as well that shows where she came to the UK. And it includes her occupation as well. I'll show you my mom's reaction when I told her. So I found something really exciting, mom. I think you're going to be really surprised. She came to the UK, mom. Her name is Tyro. Oops, so she's a twin. Wow. And mom, how does that make you feel finding that out? It's just really amazing that we don't know that these records are kept for this long time and one day somebody will stumble on them. I was I wasn't even expecting to find anything about our family or any Nigeria talk less of my family, but that's amazing. And knowing that it's really exciting because I know the next time someone asks me the twins run in my family, they would say, yes, a great, great grandmother is a twin in our family. And if they ask me how I know that, I'll they say it was Ancestry who helped me find out that information. As a member, you can explore your family history through censuses, through a fully indexed birth, marriage and death register, immigration and passenger records, plus military and occupation records. And we can go further back and talk about great, great, great grandparents. And if you pull the pieces together, it really provides that sense of, oh, maybe that's why I'm the way I am. Maybe that's why I do have that sense of creativity. Oh, that's where I got my eyes or my hair color from. It's this generation of grandparents. It's definitely one I would recommend that you try it as well. And like I said, I've got a link for a free 14 day trial i would encourage you to check out and go on your own journey of personal discovery today so i really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful i look forward to seeing you in my next one bye